Hey guys, I'm Amarat and today we will take at the first part of my Labo Design tutorials. In this series, I will show you how to create a project, a custom map and how to make it look good, simply. So let's start with a concept, because concept is probably the most uh, important thing to start with. You don't really have to start with concept, but it's really, really super useful. So in my tool pack, you can find in map folder 80 grids. And you can either see, uh, use this already finished grid, or you can use these ones. These ones are probably better because you can sh uh, display whatever you want. So how to use them? Uh, let's open them in Photoshop first, like this. I want to teach you how to use Photoshop, uh, mainly because I can't uh, use uh, Photoshop, basically, but whatever. Let's move to gradient tool and here is paint bucket tool. So we want that one. We want a pattern. And we, as you can see, we've got some patterns here and we want to create those uh, things, those uh, grids as our patterns. So go to edit and define pattern. Edit and define pattern. We will leave just a default name. We don't need to change that. So now we have created our three grids as pattern. What, uh, how big should our map be like? Well, it takes about 20 to 30 hours to make one ADT of ground. Trust me, it is tedious. It takes a lot of time. So let's say that we would like to create just uh, an island of one ADT. So let's make a map big enough for that. Uh, so our ADT grade is 768 per 768. So let's mod that by 10. So new 7680, 7680. And we've got our map. Now we will create three layers. We've got one layer, so Ctrl Shift N, OK, Ctrl Shift N, OK. And we will use the first layer as our as our pattern, as our subchunk pattern, this blue one. And just use this paint bucket to with pattern settings and you got our grid. Let's move to the second layer and create chunk pattern. And let's move to this third layer and let's define our ADT grid. So now we've got our grid here and we can hide any of the it whenever we like. It's quite useful. I have already said that it takes about 20 or 30 uh, hours to make one ADT. So a, fur, uh, a few numbers for you, which are quite uh, good to know. Let's make a new layer. So, <clears throat> imagine that you are standing here, on this spot here. So, the first thing, how long it takes you to travel across this distance here? How long it ta does it take? Well, it takes 75 it takes 75 seconds. If you don't have any speed buffs, if you don't have any mount or anything like this, that this takes 75 seconds to travel. Another thing is that size of an ADT is 533 yards. And another thing, how big is rendering distance? How far can you see? Well, it's that big. Maximal rendering distance, if you have, if you have ultra details on World of Warcraft, which you will have in Draft Auto HK indefinitely, at least most of times, is 1000 yards, approximately. So this is a distance players can see, this is a distance uh, of you need to travel to get from one ADT border to another ADT border and this is time it takes without any speed buffs or mounts. And the, uh, the final data to put down here it is that it takes 20 or 30 hours 
of work to create 180 of your own. If you are a beginner and you are not putting down too big level of detail, it can still take you a hell lot of time because you are still learning. If you are an experienced developer like me, but you are putting down a high level of detail, it can again take you something between 20 and 30 hours. If you are making something very complex, it can take you even over those 30 hours. It's really time consuming to make even one ADT of zone. Uh, for example, most of the zone made by Blizzard are about 9 or 12 or 16 ADTs big. For example, this is what Westfall, Westfall would be big like, approximately 12 ADTs. That's a Westfall. The biggest island I have ever created is about this big. It's on 16 ADTs and it has taken me about 7 months to finish that island and it still wasn't ever finished, it still isn't finished. So it would take me about at least 8 months to really finish that. Let's say that you would, uh, you would spend 2 hours per day in Nogit, so 14 hours per week. If you would like to use all these 180 T's here, it would take you about 5 months of work. And you would need to spend 14 hours per week in Nugget, and you can't uh, keep the tempo, trust me, you can't. No one can. At least nearly no one can. So, don't make some crazy dreams. Don't say that you will create a whole new continent or something like that. It's nearly impossible. Start with some small, uh, with some small modest project. For example, one island or one small zone. So let's say that we would like to create uh, just one ADT big zone. Okay, so let's start with, for example, this. Let's start with grass. So okay, just a small zone, just one ADP. I have great. I am okay. Let's not make it some damn square. Uh, imagine that you would now want to surround it by mountains. You can. So okay, let's use mountains. And how big? Uh, mountains do you need? Well, you don't need two big mountains, you need about half of an ADT. So now we've got uh, a small about one ADT big area surrounded by mountains. I don't recommend doing so. Why? Well, first of all, notice that this is one ADT, the second ADT, the third ADT. This map is about four ADTs big and Three of those ADTs are impossible mountains. That's crazy. Uh, this map would take about three or maybe four times as long to create as just this ground here. Uh, so if you want to create some zone which is on continent and which is surrounded by, by mountains, you obviously can, but expect it to be very time consuming. You would keep making huge number of mountains over and over and over and over again. Another thing to point uh, out is that if you decide to create a new zone, let's say that we would like to create some sort of new valley here, okay, this is just a small zone, but now we need to, first of all, First of all, create another mountains surrounding it, so players can't see borders of our map. And we need to remake this area between to make this accessible. That's tedious. It takes a lot of work. So you can surround your area by mountains. I don't recommend you doing so, though. The easiest uh, map to create is map consisting of islands. So let's create an island. Or first, let's create a sea. Okay, you've got some sort of sea.
and I want foreground. Ah, damn it. Okay. So now we've got our sea here, and we would like to create an island on it. Well, that's quite simple. We've got just an island, and we don't have to surround it by mountains. How long does it take to make a sea? <laughs> it's really fast. You you just lower a terrain and fill those ADTs with water. And that's pretty much it. Creating sea is much, much, much easier and much faster than creating mountains. And when you want to expand your area, you can just create a new island and uh, create some sort of boat for players to travel between those islands. And that's pretty much it. So creating islands is much easier than creating areas surrounded by mountains. So I would really recommend you to start with islands. At least when you are learning, start with islands and uh, you can move to continental areas later. Another thing to point out is uh, that when you, especially when you are creating islands and you can see over sea, well, you can see to 1000 yards, we have said. Okay, rendering distance is 1000 yards. So near at you ADTs. So if you are here on this spot, you can see up to here. So we need at least two ADTs of C to each direction. Around our island. So it should be really like this. Why? Because uh, if our ADT borders, if our map border was here, for example, uh, players would be able to see that border. They would be able to see a line where water is ending, a line where terrain underwater is uh, ending, and so on. We don't want that. So to avoid that, uh, we will simply use this. What about city or buildings? Well, we want Let's say that we will want uh, some sort of small mountain and we will want to have a city next to it. So, some sort of mountain, another small mountain, and some sort of small village. Okay. How big is a building in World of Warcraft? Trust me, buildings are actually very small. They are uh, less than a chunk big. So. This is approximately one human farm building. This is one human two-story building. This is this would be quite a big uh, inn probably or something like that. So these are these uh, dots look uh, quite small, but uh, this what I have drawn here is actually a normal usual World of Warcraft village or city in World of Warcraft with uh, some sort of dogs and that's it see how it is tiny yes it is tiny on this map but trust me this map will look as a normal world of warcraft island with some space for leveling or questing or whatever else by the way how long it will take to get from here here well about 90 seconds without mount that isn't too small for world of warcraft so even while this island might look very tiny, 180 might look very tiny, 180 is more than enough to make quite a decent island in World of Warcraft, trust me. So <laughs> this is pretty much it. This is just a very simple concept, uh, but uh, what I know is that I will need 25 ADTs, 5 mod 5, so 25 ADTs. And uh, I will also want to create small village. I will want to create two mountains. It will be an island. And uh, it will take me something between 20 and 30 hours to make this map. Those are quite good numbers to have, actually. So now I will just cut it. I can add some sort of fancy description here so tutorial I want for example 
and here we go really you don't need to get uh, too fancy with your with your concept art this is enough now you can just know you just know how big map you will need how long it will take you and so on you know what is where and uh, you can show this concept to your players to your gms and to your admin and whatever else this is just enough but making just such a simple concept can really really help you out a lot uh, why have i also uh, started with island well because you can simply change this map size very quickly you can just add another adts fill them with water lower terrain there and add another islands there i have created whole uh, maps uh, made just by uh, just of my islands I, I was just adding new and new islands it works it is easy it is simple i really don't recommend creating continental maps. You can, but it's just much more work. It's harder. And that's pretty much it. I hope this was useful for you guys. And uh, next time we will finally open Nugget. So take care and happy modding.